In this video, we look at just one class that is hold. The hold, of course, represents uh, a hold on a book by a member. So we have uh, the fields, uh, book and member of type book and member, storing the corresponding member and um, book objects and uh, the field date stores the date through which this hold is valid. So to create a hold, we pass the references to the member book that are involved in the hold and the duration for which the hold should be valid. We store member and book into the corresponding fields and we create a Gregorian calendar object and remember, date would be initialized to the current time and date. We add to that current time and date these many days, whatever is given in duration. So this would now be the date through which the hold is valid. We have some getters and uh, this is uh, a crucial method here is valid let me explain that uh, using the whiteboard okay uh, let's look at uh, this picture here on the horizontal axis we have time so let's say this is um, today Time increases as we go from left to right. So this is today, whatever today's date is. And this is a date in the future, after today, okay? Um, and this is a reference date. In Java, if you issue this method called system.currenttimemillis, this will return the number of milliseconds elapsed from the reference time till this current time. Similarly, if you issue this method call on this calendar object date, date dot get time in millis, this will return the number of milliseconds elapsed since the reference through this date object. Obviously, if the date object is um, in the future, the value returned by date dot get time in millis would be more than this system dot current time millis. So if you compare system dot current time millis and find that it is less than date dot current time in millis. It means this date is still in the future. So that is what we use in the hold class to check whether the date in the hold is still a valid date. I mean, whether the hold is still valid. So to check whether a hold is still valid, we compare system.currenttime millis and see whether it is less than date.getTime in millis. So if you refer to that uh, picture we just saw, this will uh, return true if the current time, or if the current uh, date and time is um, not this or later. 